The center set up a panel to hear social media content moderation campaigns. We are going straight across to Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar, who is speaking to the press. And Articles 14, 19, and 21. These were these have come up during the consultations, as you as you recall, that some intermediaries believed or or believed mistakenly that their guidelines and their rules and their uh, operating, uh, let's say, whatever, community guidelines, whatever they refer to that, supersede the constitutional rights of 14, 19, and 21. The rules make it very clear that regardless of where your jurisdiction is, if you are providing a service to an Indian citizen, then Article 14, 19, and 21 cannot be diluted or, uh, or ignored. The third aspect of the amendment is the, the fact, and as mo some of you and most of you have heard this during the consultation, that the grievance redressal mechanism that we had left to the intermediaries to manage by simply prescribing the need to appoint a grievance officer is broken, is not functional. And we have millions and lakhs of messages in the government as testimony to that to make sure, make sure that the grievance redressal mechanism functions and that the core principle of accountability is maintained and is intact and is strong and is strengthened. We have talked about a grievance appellate committee here where consumers and citizens and digital nagriks who are unhappy with or find that the grievance redressal mechanism by the intermediary is not responsive enough, can appeal to the GSE, which will be a digital, digitally hosted platform. We will start with maybe one or two of those GSEs, and it will proliferate as the need for that uh, expands. There is a question from the industry on the GSE on whether this can morph into a self-regulatory organization. And I have said this before. And I say now the government is not really interested in playing the role of an ombudsman here. It is not something that we have the capacity and capability to do, but this is a responsibility we are taking reluctantly because currently the grievance addressal mechanism is not functioning as it should be. Uh, and the accountability promise that we have made to the citizens of India is not uh, being met. Apart from these three uh, amendments, I just want to broadly share with you and through you to the citizens of India and of course the intermediaries and all of those who are on the internet that the government is wanting to work with the intermediaries, work with all those companies who are on the internet, big and small, Indian and foreign. We want to work in a partnership model to ensure that our common collective objective of a safe and trusted internet for all our Indian citizens and digital nagriks is met. Our mission is that. And so therefore, this is not about making it difficult for anybody. This is not for making it difficult for uh, selecting or targeting any company. This is really what should be a collective mission for all the stakeholders of the internet, which is to make the internet a safe, trusted, while keeping its attributes of openness intact and alive keeping it safe and trusted, making it uh, safe and trusted, keeping it safe and trusted, and establishing the principle of accountability between the intermediaries and the consumers. So I will leave it at that, and I will uh, be happy to take any questions. Thank you. Uh, how, do you how do you want to do this? Uh, is there anybody from PIB who is doing this? Uh, no, you will do it? Yes. Sorry, yes, you asked the question, I'll give you the answer. <coughs> so what about uh, the grievance? If, if a social media organization decides to not comply with certain complaints, so what would be their mechanism to perhaps... If a grievance, a, bit, a consumer raises a grievance with an intermediary and the intermediary does not respond or responds 
not satisfactory to the consumer, the consumer has the right to appeal that to the GSE. Right. And so, they, so if, if as an organization, if I feel that I do not want to comply with what the government is asking me to do, the GSE is asking me to do, then they will go to the court. So it's again... No, no. Look, under any law in India, anybody has the right to appro approach courts. Nothing that the rules does say, nothing that the law says prevents anybody to go to the court system. But if an intermediary is interested in resolving this within the system of law and the rules, we have provided an escalation mechanism where there is a GAC that will address it. If they are dissatisfied with the GAC's uh, order, they can go to the courts, of course. As of today, as I have said to you today, our approach towards jurisprudence and laws is evolving. We would like this to be a partnership between the government and the intermediaries to make sure that the internet is a safe and trusted space for our 120 crore Indians. Okay. Now, if it needs a further modification of the rules, we will not hesitate to do it. If it needs a new law, as I have indicated earlier, we will not hesitate to come up with new legislation. Our mission <coughs> And we believe it is our duty that the 120 crore Indians who are online must feel safe and trusted on the internet. That is our mission. Sir, yes, I got Sir, Sankar from Google. Sir, I want to ask you that uh, if the GC, the constitution, is when you say independent members, could these also be from social media companies or would these be professors from IIT? So, Sankar, on the GAC, we will have a separate structure. We believe the GAC is an important institution. And so I will not say anything very facetiously or casually or flippantly about the GAC. We will come back and present the structure, the organization and the workings of the GAC very shortly. So just one more point. So to Aditi's question, it actually says English or any language. So just to clarify, it could be English Look, or any language. You, you, you must understand the spirit of what we are doing today. We are trying to say, tell the intermediaries and work with all the intermediaries to say that there are going to be 120 crore Indians who are going to be using the internet. And it is possible that a large number of these uh, citizens are going to use different types of platforms. They come at the internet with various different types of language background, geographical background. It is I have not used the word, we have not used the word inclusion as a mandate. It is very easy for us to add that word and say it is mandated. But look, the, the model that we are adopting with all things technology is that there is a partnership between the government and the innovation ecosystem that basically straddles the internet of the tech ecosystem. So we are queuing there, saying look, there is this thing about multiple languages, we are not mandating anything currently. but that doesn't mean that we will not mandate it if there's a need to mandate it. The, we did not mandate the GAC in May 2021. We, in good faith, thought that uh, intermediaries, by appointing a grievance ad, uh, redressal officer, would automatically understand that the grievance redressal officer is supposed to address grievances, not have some tokenism there. Now, if some people haven't understood that, that is why we are, in a sense, forced to have the GAC. हाँ हाँ जरूर जा सकते हैं इसमें कोई बैन नहीं है एकदम जा सकते हैं जैसे आप जानते ही हैं कि अगर सीसीआई का कोई किसी को ऑर्डर ऑफ मिलता है वो जा सकते हैं कोर्ट एंक्लाइड जा सकते हैं नेचुरल जस्टिस का जो प्रिंसिपल है हम कभी उसमें कोई बाधा नहीं डालेंगे लेकिन हम ये कह रहे हैं कि सिटीजन और डिजिटल नागरिक का भी नेचुरल जस्टिस का जो प्रिंसिपल है उसको भी प्रोटेक्ट करना चाहिए इसीलिए हमने आर्टिकल 1418 और आर्टिकल 1419 और 21 का बात किया है यहाँ से और हम इसलिए हमने जीएसी के बात किया है। अलकम जैसे या या। I just wanted to understand like आपने बोला कि we gave them an opportunity but they were not ready to listen। No no I didn't say any of this हाँ। Not exactly I'm not quoting the word but they it was tokenism। हाँ। So what kind of violations or what kind of reluctance did you find from the companies? Were there glaring cases where they were not no, no, ready to listen to citizens? I am I am willing to go on record and say we have lacks of messages from citizens and digital nagriks whose grievances were not responded to apart from either by just saying we have received your grievance, thank you for sending the grievance or no response at all. 
and that is not acceptable for us. When we say the internet should be open, we mean openness in a certain construct. When we say that the internet, we owe it to our citizens to have the internet open and safe and trusted, we mean safety and trust means a range of issues. When we say accountability, accountability means if a citizen is, has a problem, real or imaginary, it becomes the obligation of the intermediary to respond to that problem, real or imaginary, in a manner satisfactorily factory to the uh, digital nagri. Wo jab tak nahi hoga, hum uspe, we will keep looking for ways to make sure it happens. Is penalty also one of the main things going forward? Would look, you, look at something like that? you know our government, our prime minister does not like to bring in punitive into laws when we, if we can avoid it. I think we all understand that this is a common goal and a common mission to make the internet safe and trusted. I can't believe any intermediary wakes up in the morning and says let's do everything to make the internet not safe and trusted. Nor should an intermediary wake up in the morning and say no we want to escape accountability. We will work with them. And only as a, as a last resort will we resort to the need to incorporate penalties. I'll go one by one. In the coming days, will there be any parameters on which kind of can be appealed to the CSE or? No, look, I have said this, Ashish, earlier also. We are all learning as we go along. What we did not know in February 2021 and May 2021, we know today. What we don't know today, maybe we'll find out six months later. And I have told you that this whole internet space, we will continue to evolve our approach. I am saying again through you to the intermediaries, and of course I will be meeting with them as well, that we don't see this as a binary saying that this is our goal and this is not your goal. This is not about regulating intermediaries as much as saying these are our common goals and that intermediaries must work with the government to achieve these common objectives of safety and trust. Because again, Ashish, let me say one more thing. I'll tell you why safety and trust. We have a $5 trillion economy goal. We have a trillion dollar digital economy goal. A significant part of the trillion dollar digital economy is on or adjacent to the internet. So safety and trust on the internet is not just a, you know, it's not a, it's not just a simple statement of rhetoric. It is also a real economic issue for investments, for jobs, all of that. Sir, moving up for PTI, how do you respond to critics who have said that this will perhaps give a greater handle to the government to decide content on internet and no. on social media platforms? No, no, so we are not addressing content at all, so we are addressing only grievances. The will sit in decision of, uh, of overriding what the social media platforms have decided. No, I'm, 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 repeating, I'm uh, repeating in slow motion that we are not overriding anything. The GSE's role, and we will be more than happy to share the GSE once the institutional framework is ready. We will share it with the public and we will share it with the media. The GSE is here to sit as an appellate body in the event that the consumers, who are the most important stakeholders in the internet, are dissatisfied with the grievance process run by the intermediary. Okay. Uh, will there be any, I know it's going to be appointed by the government, but will there be any government official on it? It says that. It says that there will be one government one official government and two independent. Yes, okay. of course. And two independent. Yes. Sure. And in any event, my issues today don't spend too much time dwelling on that because we will come back to you. And we will take all the questions and you can kick all the tires of the GSE when we present the GSE to you. So I think today we are only talking about that need for an escalation or of, of an unsatisfactory or dissatisfied, dis, dis, dissatisfied consumer in the uh, grievance address process. Yeah. So, Ashish, uh, will GSE have any kind of sort of power to take up content or to take up challenge the decisions made by the officers? No motor powers. So, motor powers. As of today, we do not see the need for the GSE to have any so motor powers. Is the onus is on the intermediary. <coughs> no, no, the onus is on the intermediary to make sure that there is no, uh, uh, from Schedule 3-1, that entire schedule, except for those exceptions, 
they have the obligation to make sure that they are their content moderation policies ensure though that type of content does not find place on the platform simple no no the, I'll, i'll explain how this works just so that you understand intermediaries today are protected under section uh, 79 <coughs> section 79 uh, from any prosecution relating to content on the platforms that is the plat blanket safe harbor that they have if you violate the rules or you are not in compliance with the rules basically what happens the consequential impact is not punitive not financial as of now is that you lose your safe harbor status which means that if i am aggrieved by a content on your platform and you are the intermediary i can then go to the courts and get natural justice through the court system you have no protection that the it act has so far provided you that's all it does so therefore if you want to continue to be an intermediary there are certain obligations that are cast on you by the it rules and those obligations include a making very clear what type of do's and don'ts you have for your platform b making sure that if there is illegal con uh, content as, as defined in the rules you are taking reasonable effort to make sure those content are removed and c even if you are not able to do it with your content moderation whatever algorithm people whatever when reported that that content has to come down in 72 hours we are giving you 72 hours frankly i am of the opinion 72 hours is too long and i uh, it was 24 hours during consultation but it was widely felt that this is early days so let's keep it at 72 and then progressively as the platforms and intermediaries gain their capacity and capability we'll create a shorter window